listen to our testimony. Two months ago, June 1st, it happens that as my husband was driving to work, he dropped the children at Jakpa Road. So he now said, let him pass through that Shagolo uh, bridge to MPA where he works. He now had an accident. Then me, as a teacher, I've gone to work because we don't go to work the same time. He leaves 6.30. So they now called me around to 11. Somebody in my neighborhood say, come, come, your husband had an accident. He's at home. I say, God, I reject bad news in the name of Jesus. First day of June. So I said, mm, if I call him now, he's not going to be emotionally stable to pick the call. So let me just come. The other I come to, came to my house, the whole neighborhood were there. They were interrogating him. Why, why did it happen? They were, what happened? He was not talking. I said, no, no, don't talk again. What happened? So he now said they had an accident so that the car, the vehicle is beyond repair. Because I knew our vehicle is high, Amanda Jeep, that nothing is going to happen to him. But I was concerned about the other person. I said, hope oh, that person did not die. He said, no, it's Jeep also. I said, Tango, but the vehicle is beyond repair. I said, don't worry, we'll repair it for the person. Come. And I said, let's go to the hospital. Somebody, uh, one elderly man in my house there in my city room said, no, the man that brought him, that had the accident with him, said he will come and take him to the hospital. I said, what? No. I'm taking him. I said, I reject bad news. And I ran to the room. That anchor shift that Papa gave to us as a man too, I collected it because I know the battle was going to be very easy. And I collected my anointing oil. And I collected that along. I said, let's go to the hospital. I took him to the hospital. We all who got to the hospital is... Uh, blood pressure has risen to 280 over 150. So then he was losing touch with reality. I saw it in him. He can hear people, but he's not seeing. His eyes were wide open. He's not seeing anybody. I was talking to him. He would be asking, who is talking? I say, it's me, darling. It's me. He said, hey, but I'm not seeing you. I say, yes, I'm here with you. Don't worry. Nothing broken, nothing missing. Nothing will happen to you. I'm here. The God of Papa Hayo is with us. He's going to see your us through. So eventually, they were trying to arrest the situation in his place of work. At about 4.30 to four o'clock they said ah madam this is beyond uh, our wish that they want to refer us i said okay no problem they started asking me which hospital will you go to is it uh, lily clinic is it capital Hill? i said i don't know hospital just take me to the closest one to this place so they now took us to capital Hill at airport road when we got there on emergency my husband now finally gave up the ghost i never knew so because I was a woman. You know, doctors don't talk to women. So they were all murmuring. They, when I, if I want to hear, they would just go to the corner. They would not say anything. The managing director now came. He said, ah, what are you still doing with this man? Prepare him and take him to the mortuary. When I heard mortuary, I said, what? And I ran inside the emergency. I placed my head on his chest. I begin to call him. I say, Martins or Morrigan, I call you back to life in the name of Jesus. You cannot die. I started praying. I said, the God of Papa Hayo, the mantle I'm standing upon, I call you back to life in the name of Jesus. So, I don't know where strength came over me. Four men brought me out. They closed the place. I ran inside because the thing was just running over me like a dream. Somebody I slept with last night, just soon, they just say he's dead. I say, no, you cannot die. You just started the journey of life. Papa used to tell us that we will live 120 20 years. I said, my husband, you cannot die. Please come back to life. So the MD now came. I only ate the hospital bed. I refused to go. I saw all the vital signs because I read health. I know inside me that he's dead. But I refused their report. I believe the report of the Almighty. I knew my husband was not dead. So when the MD came again, he said, ah, this woman, who you people are still with? He said, please, sir, my husband is not dead. Leave me. And I said, hey, okay, leave her to her faith. They left me with my husband husband in a man jersey there. Day one, I started calling on the God of Papa Hayo Richard Jaffo. I said, Lord, you are my strength. God of Mama Elino Richard Jaffo, you are my strength that made me to say that he's not dead. My husband is not dead. Day one passed. Day two passed. Day three passed. Day four, the, when any fly coming, they, they, all those started coming out. My younger sister that came in, he said, ah, sister, the body does smell you. Let her take him to the mortuary. I said, go and buy me perfume. He's not dead. He's not dead. Then we were there. Day five, I started calling the God of Papa Hayao Richard Jaffa. I said, Baba, my husband is not dead. Mama Henley, my husband is not dead. I started testing, Papa, oh, Papa, you are a wonderful Papa. I give you praise for Papa's life. 
Papa sent uh, pastors to come and be praying for us. Morning and even Pastor Shegu, Pastor Hazy, when they saw the situation, they knew inside them. But they would all, when they nod their head, I knew. I said, God, you are the God that appears in ugly situations. My husband is not dead. My sister will be killing fly. That's why the perfume. I said, that is on your own. God is on him. He's in on, on a process. God is going to wake him. Day five now reached. The situation was getting tough. Four oxygen have passed. The MD now said, Madam, oxygen is getting finished too. And I say, Yes, it's company that is going to pay. Even if the bill is five million, they are going to pay. Don't worry. Let the oxygen run because my husband is not dead. They said, Okay, let him there. I started calling on the God of Papa. People are now mocking me. The nurse will say, Who be Papa? I say, Papa is Papa. I your research for. Have you not heard about him? Have you not seen him? Hey, the God that is serving is a miraculous God. The Lord have done it before. My case is not good. It's not come off a road i said you will see you will see the miracle you've not seen before in your life day five now pass that day five in the ninth because mama word of life the pastors they came even sister blessing pastor matthew wife they gave me they said mama said they should give me psalm 91 even pastor Kaviro will be reading psalm in my phone i will place it on my husband here somebody that said he's dead because i know when he hear it wherever he is he will come back to life they pray with me i said god yo lord remove this reproach god of papa higher i will just be moving i will just be moving the md came again day five he said the man never still wake up you people will not i said oh please doctor my husband is not dead leave him leave him leave him for me leave him leave him he's not dead leave him so they left him they find my husband was in a, in, in early morning when i was praying those prayer mama sent to me psalm 91 psalm 51 i'll be praying it in midnight one of the midnight my, it's like my husband was in a fight that was the first time he talked after five days he was saying leave me alone it's like they were dragging him to somewhere and i heard the sound I say you this spirit that is dragging him don't you see the wedding ring on his hand it's my wedded husband leave him in the name of jesus that anointed oil oh yeah, that papa prayed for us yeah. i used it to announce his hand in our fair back he didn't talk again they ceased now pass they ceased early morning the final show day the 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 empty now came it's after they serve we said because this is the last oxygen if this oxygen finish we will take your husband to the mortuary i say yes yes prove it my husband is going to wake this day seven that night i didn't sleep i prayed all my life all the prayer points papa have taught us i started calling on the god of papa i started calling him i said god my father do not close your ears have mercy again have mercy oh lord let your mercy speak again and bring my husband to life i said because you are a marvelous god because my husband's testimony will populate heaven and it will depopulate hell i said god wake him up on that day seven that day seven early morning 4 a.m he was not saying osawese in their language and i clap i say yes 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 i said welcome back to life welcome back to life i so he was not he was not singing when he went in i woke came back to life it's like somebody that was running he was panting <sighs> Yeah, I say, yeah, I say you are in the hospital. He said, God, the devil is a liar. For 36 years, I've not been to the hospital. I said, my husband, you were not sick. You had an accident. He said, who brought me here? I say, ah, your lovely wife, I brought you here. I say, it is the God of Papa, higher research for the marvelous God that woke you up. I say, in our whole lifetime, we will not forget this miracle. Even if we forget everything, this particular one, we will not forget it. In my presence, six people died. There were several people in that emergency. It's not that my husband was too holy. Neither is he he's too righteous to be alive. But it is the God of Papa Ayo and the God of Mama Helen Orisha Jaffo that brought him back to life. What a marvelous God. I thank you all, Word of Life. You were all there for prayers for me. Most of you came, you gave us money. Some of you back us in prayer. Oh, I thank God. We just want to say, we just want to say, Baba o e she we just want to say Baba o e she kabiesi kabiesi Praise the Lord uh, ladies and gentlemen although you people don't know me you 